Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about Massachusetts wide receiver Andy Isabella uh, based on his production analytics. So in this video, we're going to look at him and compare him to all wide receivers since the 1969 NFL draft class to see where his production links up with those types of players and what his potential is at the next level based on all that information. Uh, so starting with Isabella's passing yards mark share production score hit a 96.38 overall score uh, based on my data since 1969 that pretty much hits the five-time all pro three-time all pro three-time pro bowl and long-term starter areas of production uh, so isabella has very 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 good production marks uh, overall uh, pretty much hits all this sort of high quality outcomes you could look for and then of course when you look at the averages at the position uh, 92.14 in terms of his uh, in terms of the averages of all pro uh, 88.38 in terms of Pro Bowl average, and then of course 81.45 in terms of starter. So Isabella pretty much hits above the average scores of all Pro players, Pro Bowl players, and starter players. Hits all the sort of thresholds you're looking for in terms of high quality outcomes. The only question marks that I have on him at this point is uh, with age. Uh, age is a big indicator when it comes to high quality outcomes at the wide receiver position. I don't really have very many concerns about him in terms of his athleticism because this is a guy that uh, basically beat a cornerback uh, who is an NFL cornerback, by the way, um, in the uh, in a track event. Uh, now, of course, this was back in high school, of course, but there's really no question marks about his athleticism. Just put on the film of Andy Isabella, and you'll see athleticism out the wazoo. What he lacks is size and and all those other sort of uh, dimensions, you know, he's not six foot five, two hundred forty pounds. This isn't the Calvin Johnson of wide receivers, but I think he would test very well as an athlete. But the real question that I have is just with age, because age oftentimes speaks to uh, potential. Um, strength of schedule is another sort of question mark with him, just because he played at Massachusetts. Uh, he produced very highly, but of course, producing at a high level at Massachusetts is different from producing at a high level at Ohio State. So there are some question marks about those types of things. But overall, very good production profile. And I'm very excited to see where he ends up in terms of the draft process. And of course, where he ends up in the 2019 NFL Draft. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at DraftCoburn at WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification bell so that you're reminded whenever another video of mine drops and i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace